If you've ever struggled with creating trees and wanted to create 3D trees in Blender but didn't know where to start, M-Tree might be exactly what you're looking for. It's a free, node-based procedural tree generator that works inside Blender 2.92 and you don't need any modeling experience to get great results. It offers adjustable parameters like tree height, branch thickness or overall randomness and all through intuitive sliders and input fields. To install the add-on, go to the GitHub page, the link is in the description, click on code and download zip. There's no need to unzip the file, keep it as it is. It is important to note that M3 only works with Blender 2.92. I've tried using the add-on with latest versions but it is just not compatible. So make sure you get the correct version from the Blender website. To get started, open a fresh Blender scene and delete the default cube. Open Edit, Preferences and Add-ons. Click Install, locate the zip file and confirm. Enable it by checking Add Mesh M3. That's it, M3 is now installed and ready. Split your workspace and change the Timeline Editor type to M3. Click New to start a node tree. If you don't see the sidebar, press N and open the M3 tab. As you can see, there are many presets. I'm going to go with Old Oak and hit Load Preset. Now nodes will start appearing automatically. Then click on Create Tree and your 3D tree will generate instantly in the viewport. M3 allows for easy customization. For example, I can change the tree height to 15 meters. You can also play around with the seed, shape and randomness. Click Update Tree to regenerate the model with your changes. Each update gives you a new variation which makes it easy to iterate quickly. In order to add leaves to your tree, press Shift A and select the twig node. Drop the twig node into the node editor and click on Execute to generate a leaf cluster. In the M3 panel, enable Create Leaves and use the eyedropper tool to select your twig object. And lastly, click on Update Tree again. Your tree will now include fully textured leaves. You can also switch to materials preview to see them in full detail. The trunk can also be textured instantly and there's no need of UV unwrapping or complex material setup. I've just selected the pre-built twig material in the materials property tab. If you want to add a custom leaf shape instead of the pre-built ones, first have a model of the leaf ready which you want to use. I'm going to use a torus as the leaf shape but you can use anything. In the twig node, set the leaf type as custom. Select the leaf object as the model of your leaf and hit execute. Again, use the eyedropper tool to select your twig object. And then lastly, click Update Tree. In this way, you can create any shape of the leaf you like. Split the screen and open Shader Editor. To add materials to the newly created leaf shape, select the object and go to the Materials property tab. Here, add a new material. Delete the principal BSDF and add an image texture and open your image. As you can see, the image I've chosen doesn't look that great, just spend some time looking for a good material texture. Once your tree is ready, you can export it and use it in any Blender version for larger scenes, animations or even game environments. Give M3 a try and see how fast you can generate beautiful customization 3D trees with almost no effort.